Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So on today's video, I am going to reveal my wife's portfolio. Now, very quickly, some key inputs that my wife and I created this portfolio for her roughly one and a half, two years back. In these two years, it has given, as I am watching this, it has given 44% run up. It is mostly doing well. Now, the interesting part is, and the backstory is, that you know what, this is Irudape when you log in or any app that you log in. You have to give like OTP, TOT, P and Dunya Varki Chizen. So now I was never able to coordinate. So I did not actively manage this portfolio. As I was logging in and stuff. Point two, my wife also, since she is not an active investor, she forgot that she has a portfolio to begin with. And she didn't pay attention. And suddenly we checked it roughly like two days back. And then she saw that it was a profit, right? So I should also learn about stock investing. So then she's formally like enrolling for my courses and whatnot. So it's like that's on the funny bit. But to cut the long story short, on this video, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to reveal my wife's portfolio. I'm going to discuss uh, what are some good things, bad things about this portfolio. How am I going to rebalance it? What are some key points that new users of the stock market or new investors should keep in mind? What are some key points that intermediate level stock market retail investors should keep in mind? I'm going to help you understand all these points by showing you data, graphs, charts, everything. You will have a complete understanding as to how to go about building a successful portfolio. It's okay, so time for reveal. This is what my wife's portfolio looks like. This is not manipulated numbers. You can see I'm just hiding the user ID, that's it. Other than that, nothing is there. This red triangle is there because the Roda K uh, 1171LF L25, mein hai. there is like some issue that is going on. So they are not incorporating it, but it's not a value. Nahi thi. And I'm making this video during market hours. So you can see that it's roughly 44%. And this has been created roughly one and a half, two years ago. So if you have CAGR, nikal ho ge, toh it's in excess of so roughly 22% ke aspas niklega, which is a decent portfolio, especially given the fact that I have not actively managed it. Active management ka matlab ye hota hai ki I sit, I analyze it roughly every 10, 15 odd days. This is my apna portfolio, karta hon, right? So my portfolio is much bigger. I am not comfortable revealing that. But I can here reveal all my wife's portfolio. I have taken permission from her. So she's okay, right? So, so in that sense, I have not actively managed this portfolio. If I were to actively manage it, it's a CAGR kafi bad jata because I could have sold some stuff rotate it into better opportunities the way I keep telling you guys, okay? So that's one. Second key point that you need to remember is, this has been a passive portfolio. And then we opened the account after one and a half years and here are the gains, right? So this style of investing is passive investing. This is a very powerful form of investing. But this is very different from buy and forget investing. Buy and forget investing me hota hai ki ya khareed liya and then bhooli gaye. Kabhi gai nahi, right? I mean, that's the point about buy and forget investing. For example, SIP. Aap SIP chalate raho, chalate raho, chalate raho, zindagi bar chalate raho. Why, right? You have to book profits at some stage. Tell me one thing that when you are actually buying mutual funds, when do you exit mutual funds? If you don't have a clear answer to that, it becomes a problem. So therefore, I definitely advocate active investing to some degree. Passive investing, yes, you should definitely do it. Buy and forget me, you have to understand when to exit things, okay? So on that note, there are a few key points that I would like to, again, explain in context of this portfolio. Pehle aap portfolio dekh lo, ye sare numbers revealed ne aapke saamne. This is what it is. Kuch cheezo mein mujhe position cut kar deni chahiye thi pehle, maine kari nahi right, because I did not log into the account only. But anyways, I will correct those mistakes now. I will tell you how to rebalance it. But let me just take a macro view, which brings me to point number two, that is it a good time to invest in the market right now? Or should I put more money in this portfolio or should I withdraw some money in this portfolio? The reason is very simple that in an upward going market, agar koi achhi cycle chal rahi hai, and if I pull money from this portfolio, as you can see, it's close to 1 CR. If I pull out, let's say 40, 50 lakhs from it, then I'm pulling money out of this portfolio. Should I be doing it or should I rather bring this portfolio up to, let's say, 1.5, 2 CR? Okay. So which option should I prefer? That's the first piece of conversation that I will have with you. Okay, so that decision literally comes down to the fact where market currently is. So I will show you a chart first of all. Okay, so this is where we are and I have also drawn the levels when I was explaining that you should buy here, right? So I had purchased a lot of stuff in my portfolio here, right? Uh, but now the situation is that we are somewhere here, right? We are at our all time high, right? So here you should mathematically know that how much Money will you be making if you invest in the market? When we say in the market, it means Nifty 50, which is the barometer 
for the stock investing in India, uh, we look at the index growth. So right now, market is almost at its all-time high. The math that you need to know is that, see, last 20 year CAGR on the market is roughly 12.5%. Okay. Hum kitne bhi genius ho, kitne bhi virle insaan ho, we cannot or we will have to take very high levels of risk in case we are trying to beat the market by 4 to 5% alpha, right? So if market is giving 12, 12 and a half percent return, I am trying to get like 20% return. It's going to be extremely difficult, right? So I am saying if you are putting new money in the market, it will roughly grow at 13 to 15%. So this is my target return, whatever new money I am putting in the market. So I hope that this stock market basic math is clear to everyone. Now let's move on to the next point that, okay, 12, 13, 15% return, does it make sense to invest in the market at all time high? Yes, if this is your best possible use of money. And agar aap bolo ki yaar, mere paas hai na land pada hua, I can probably go and buy that land or buy that property or invest in some startup or invest in some other asset where I can easily beat this 13-15%. To sense nahi banta stock market mein naya paisa dalne ka, right? This is called as the opportunity cost of your money. Opportunity cost means that if you put New money, you invest in the market, stock market math tells us that this new money that you have just poured in is going to grow at roughly 13 to 15% agar aapne achhi performance di. Then is that the best use of your money? That's what opportunity cost means. Ki aapke paas kuch aur opportunity hai where you can go and probably make 20% CAGR. So my answer to that is that see guys, right now I am invested quite heavily in real estate. Meri wo bucket roughly is fulfilled. I am personally invested a lot of money in stocks. So I'm not doing a lot of aggressive things in stocks. I'm just pruning my portfolio. Point three, I see a lot of value in terms of building an opportunity fund. Now, opportunity fund means that, look, I am a bulk investor. I would buy a lot of stuff in consolidation. I have bought a lot here. Here, again, the market consolidated a bit. I bought a lot, right? Here, I bought a lot of stuff here. You can see my videos also that this was a major buying zone for me. So I feel that if you look at this chart, right? So, abhi, so we are somewhere in the greed zone in the market and it will become euphoric. Please note this. I'm not saying that greed aane ke baad depression a jayega ya market correct kar jayega. Greed ke baad aata hai euphoria, euphoria ke baad aata hai crash, okay? So my strategy is very simple for both me and my wife that we are going to hold our portfolio, protect it till the euphoria stage is very clear. Kab aayega euphoria, how to navigate it, all this. I am discussing all these finer points on my member community. I would highly encourage you to check it out for a couple of months. You yourself will see Massive value add. Go and check out the reviews. You will love it. Everything is honestly taught, honestly built. So please check it out. But on that note, one final point that I would like to tell you about euphoria is that right now we are not in a euphoria mode. Ho sakta hai, 5-10% correction might come, this, that stuff. But this is not a euphoric time. Euphoria will come. It might happen after elections. It might happen due to interest rate cuts. It might happen due to wide variety of macroeconomic changes. So I am waiting for that phase. I am going to hold my portfolio till then. Then I am going to rotate my capital. So therefore, it's not my discussion kara, uska sar or summary or to cut the long story short is that I am going to put more money into my wife's portfolio. Why not in my portfolio? Because my portfolio is already quite big. So it makes more sense to put it through my wife. Just say tax loss harvesting or baki sari cheese you can do, right? So okay. So coming back to my portfolio. Ab sabse vele, the first thing that I need to do is that I need to check the split of industries in which the money has been poured. So I'll just eyeball it, right? So for example, you can say that we have like AstraZeneca, AU, Bajaj Finance, Bandhan Bank, Bank of Baroda, Bank of Baroda with a high percent return, chal raha hai, right? Equitas mein 344% return chal raha and all that stuff, right? Britannia, Bata, Gillette, HDF, CMC, Finance heavy, abhi tak aapko dikh raha hai, right? ITC has been 100% uh, more run up, JP Power 360% run up, right? Which has been massive, right? So JP Power say bahut paisa bana hai, right? So I mean, you can see uh, Lal Path Lab, all that are little little bit in red, all that stuff. Okay. So yeah, let me answer two, three basic questions that what is the split of the portfolio? I would say that roughly 50% is finance, 50% uh, is non-finance. Right now, I see more opportunities in finance. So the new money that I'm going to put into this portfolio will mostly be in finance stocks, right? So this is 
point number one that is how, how I'm going to redevelop this portfolio and why am I going to do it because I see a bright future for finance if I look at the next two to three years Mira Kutka portfolio I keep on saying there's almost 80 85 percent Indian equity is in finance now so I'm quite bullish on finance so accordingly uh, even for my wife I'm going to rejig the portfolio in a way that approximately 75 percent exposure will be to finance stocks remainder 25 will be for other stocks okay so this is the first key point about this portfolio the second key point that i see is that there are a bunch of defensive stocks now what are defensive stocks for example up itc dekho right so itc you can see that this is a defensive stock on which we are already sitting on 103 percent profits so this is a defensive stock hindustan unilever hasn't grown much right and in fact it has shrunk by five percent from the level she had bought it so hardly any returns but this again is a defensive stock अब आप बोलोगे कि यार आई टी सी में तो आपका हंड्रेड परसेंट है सो वाई डोंट यू सेल इट एंड मूव ऑन एंड री इन्वेस्ट मैन इट कम्स डाउन एंड हिंदुस्तान यू ने लेवर यू आर ऑन नेगेटिव सो कीप होल्डिंग इट कई सो दिस इज नॉट हाउ डिसीजन शुड बी मेड ओके द आइडिया इज वेदर एट दिस पॉइंट इन द मार्केट आर यू लुकिंग टू होल्ड डिफेंसिव स्टॉक्स और नॉट इफ द आंसर इज येस आई वॉन्ट टू होल्ड डिफेंसिव स्टॉक्स देन इर रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ हाउ मच गेन्स आई एम एट इट डज नॉट मैटर उसमें सौ परसेंट बन जाए उसमें तीस परसेंट करेक्शन आ जाए दिस दैट स्टफ एज लॉन्ग एज द क्वालिटी ऑफ एसेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल हिंदुस्तान यू नेवर एंड आई टी सी आर सॉलिड कंपनीज आई वॉन्ट डिफेंसिव स्टॉक इन माई पोर्टफोलियो सो आई विल कंटिन्यू टू होल्ड इट दैट्स माई थीसेज ऑन इट ओके द ओनली क्वेश्चन आई नीड टू आंसर राइट नाउ इज दैट डज इट मेक सेंस राइट नाउ टू होल्ड डिफेंसिव स्टॉक्स सो मैं थोड़ी सी कॉमेंट्री कर देता हूँ देन आई विल गिव यू माई आंसर Short answer for me is yes. I would want to hold defensive stocks because defensive stocks serve a purpose. What is the purpose? The purpose is, देखो जब उठता हुआ market होता है when the market is going up. Again, you can take a look at Nifty levels. ये भाई बढ़ता हुआ चला जा रहा है. Banking stocks are running. Everyone is happy. This that right and ये हो गई GDP हो गई वो हो गई. All that is great. But see guys, crash can come at any point in time. We have to be prepared for a fall. in the stock levels and whenever crash comes defensive stocks save your portfolio so to say aisa 2020 mein bhi hua tha that during this time for example aap 2020 mein aapko example se batata hu to yahan pe jab stock market correct kara tha look at what happened to hindustan unilever stock so 2020 mein correction yahan pe aaya tha kareeb kareeb uh, may mein right so if we just take a look at ki kitna high banaya tha isne it mostly went up from may to roughly june of 2021 ऊपर गया था राइट डिस्पाइट द इंटायर मार्केट गेटिंग करेक्टेड बाय 50, 60 परसेंट ऑल दैट स्टफ सो यहाँ पे अल्फा कितना हो गया यार आई मीन अल्फा इज लाइक 60, 70 परसेंट इजिली राइट सो वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू इज दैट डिफेंसिव स्टॉक्स सर्व अ पर्पस ना व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ डिफेंसिव स्टॉक्स की अगर करेक्शन आता है तो डिफेंसिव स्टॉक्स प्रोटेक्ट योर पोर्टफोलियो अ लिटिल बिट सो देयर फॉर होल्डिंग a little bit of defensive stocks makes sense so therefore i am not going to sell something like itc or hindustan unilever natural question comes that will you add more hindustan unilever so okay so ye maine aapko technique pehle bhi batayi thi ki see this is a channel trading strategy yahan pe aap dekh sakte ho ki the channel has broken down right so ye raha channel right this is how hindustan unilever stock should have behaved right abhi yahan pe hona chahiye tha but unfortunately it is here for whatever reasons and एंड आगे पीछे चल के इट विल कम बैक टू इट्स नॉर्मल लेवल एंड वॉट इज द गेन दैट वी आर लुकिंग एट वी आर लुकिंग एट सिक्सटी फोर परसेंट गेन दिस टाइप ऑफ गेन और दिस कैटलिटिक गेन इज गोइंग टू कम वेन दी मार्केट गोज डाउन आई डोंट नो वेन द मार्केट आर गोइंग टू गो डाउन बट इफ आई हैव टू बिल्ड मोर पोजिशन देन एच यू एल इज अ वेरी सॉलिड स्टॉक फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव आई होप दैट दिस एडवांस पॉइंट इज रियली क्लियर ये एडवांस टॉपिक्स आपको कोई नहीं समझाता बुक्स में भी नहीं बताई जाती दीज आर प्रैक्टिकल मनी मेकिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज अब अगला सवाल आता है कि इससे अच्छा था आप यार बैंक में इन्वेस्ट कर दो यार देखो डिफेंसिव स्टॉक्स हो गए अग्रेसिव स्टॉक्स हो गए राइट ऑलमोस्ट एट्टी एट्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ माई मनी इज इन अग्रेसिव स्टॉक्स लाइक बैंक इफ आई कीप लाइक ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ माई मनी और वाइफ मनी इन डिफेंसिव स्टॉक्स इट एक्ट एज अ बैलेंस टू माई पोर्टफोलियो सो क्रिएटिंग अ बैलेंस्ड पोर्टफोलियो इज द गोल द गोल इज नॉट यू आर इन हर स्टॉक में आपके सौ सौ परसेंट बढ़ते रहे दैट इज इम्पॉसिबल दैट यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू टाइम इट यू विल हैव वेरी पुअर परफॉर्मेंस राइट फ्रॉम दैट परस्पेक्टिव सो आई होप दैट दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर ओके सो देन कम्स दी नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट सी देर आर सम कंपनीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल राजेश एक्सपोर्ट्स जिसमें कि कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स निकली राइट एंड आप देख सकते हैं कि थर्टी सिक्स परसेंट लॉस पे है ये स्टॉक सो शुड यू सेल दीज टाइप ऑफ स्टॉक्स सी गाइज आई मीन मेकिंग दीज टाइप ऑफ डिसीजन इज एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट नो वन विल बी एबल टू टाइम इट करेक्टली एंड ऑनेस्टली देर इज नो राइट और रॉन्ग आंसर हियर बिकॉज 
जो भी आरोप लगे हुए हैं राजेश एक्सपोर्ट्स पे कि यार मैनिपुलेशन कर दिया ये कर दिया जीएसटी नहीं भरा वट एवर वगैरह वगैरह टैक्सेशन इशूज दिस दैट सी आई एम नॉट द टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट राइट आई मीन आई डोंट नो वेदर दे फाइट द केस एंड दे विल विन इट और नॉट विन इट नाउ दैट न्यूज हैज ऑलरेडी बीन फैक्टेड इन द स्टॉक आई एम ऑलरेडी होल्डिंग द स्टॉक एट थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी लॉस If I were to sell it, when should I sell it? I should sell it for tax loss harvesting perspective. Now, what is tax loss harvesting? Please go and take a look at this video. It will give you an idea. But right now, selling Rajesh Export does not make much sense because a, I don't want to exit the market. Right? Number two, tax loss harvesting I can't do right now, so there is no point. Number three, जो fall होना था Rajesh Export पे due to those misdemeanor charges or whatever it is. it has already been in the news already stock pit chuka hai because of that info so i will just continue to hold it okay so then comes the question that what is it that you will sell okay so i will sell something an industry where i do not see massive prospects okay so for example tata steel is a good candidate which i will sell i will sell something like sale right why these two stocks china is the major mover of commodities so to say china se jab demand badhegi then commodity stocks are going to become rocket again but right now i don't see massive point in terms of buying commodity stocks or owning commodity stocks for two reasons one is that china demand is low and second is that government spending is going to slow down after elections so if i take a six month view point i don't see these stocks running like massively from that perspective ab hone ko to kuch bhi ho sakta hai but if i have to just apply brain and time this macro cycle it's tough i would not do that okay then comes the third jaise geofin yeah geofin mere paas bahut pada hua hai meri wife ne this was the last ad that she did on her own when i and i told her that i'm buying geofin she also bought it but she bought little quantity right so geofin is something which according to me is very nice mera to itna profit hoga us mera kareeb kareeb 200% odd mera profit hoga geofin ka but on a much larger amount so geofin is a growth so i would rotate that money whatever money i'm getting by selling a part of this portfolio into something like geofin which is a solid stock now private banks have started to give her an up so for example jaise hdfc bank pe she agar if i look at her whole portfolio size it comes out to be roughly 5.8% so main thodi si position bada sakta hu maybe 1 1 1/2 lakh rupee i can add more i will not go beyond 10% on any stock kyunki kisi bhi stock ke sath kuch bhi ho sakta hai kabhi bhi gir sakta hai this that stuff so hdfc bank seems to be in momentum main aapko thoda sa dikha bhi deta hu ye plot maine class kari thi usme maine sab banaya hua tha explaining all the target i'll just quickly do it for you right see this is cup with handle pattern so ye kareeb kareeb kitna nikal ke aana chahiye yahan se leke yahan tak right this fits perfectly mere hisab se hdfc bank should go up until this right so agar aap yahan se naapna shuru karoge and i will just do it in front of you because bahut hoch poch ho rakhi hai yahan pe to roughly aapka kitna gain banta hai roughly this is a 50% 60% gain stock jo aana chahiye safely right on something like hdfc bank if you are a passive investor fir se bhul gaye right ek dekh saal invest karke to again the return should come from here this is a safe bet so these are the type of bets that i'll pick for my wife because i yaar wo mushkil ho jata hai bar bar tot fee mango wo fir batata hai fir aap mobile pe login karo to all that i don't do but i hope that my wife will study my courses really well and and wo khud se apply karna shuru kar dengi but in case she does not do that then buying these type of safe assets passive karke bhul jao it's good so i will definitely add something like this to her portfolio in a bulk buy fashion so okay so ab kuch dusre stocks bhi hain ab yaar main itna discuss nahi kar paunga sare stocks but i will at least give you very quick commentary for example jaise britannia hai so again it's a defensive stock i see value in it kolpal hai so again it's a defensive stock i see value in it holding it right so i would not have more than like 20% defensive stock 20 25% of the entire portfolio of hers in defense right so super nahi jaunga main 25% is the limit so i'll have to just double check it ki kitna ban raha hai right uh, bank bees she is holding so i might rotate capital from bank bees bank bees sell karke i will rotated to the growth segment of bank which is hdfc kotak is tarike ke i will definitely do that kuch stocks jo main bech dunga i am then i will check ki bank of baroda bechna sensible hai ki nahi because it has already uh, gone up quite aggressively as she has been holding it so yes she is sitting on good profits uh, so depending on ki kitna paisa nikal ke aa raha hai so for example she does not have icici bank Uh, so I would rather pick something like ICICI, Axis Bank. So वो नहीं है portfolio में. So maybe selling something like Bank of Baroda and rotating it into those type of banks might make more sense. Okay. She also does not have IT. I see a quick swing opportunity in IT right now. If she were actively managing this portfolio, then I would have probably picked it for her. But right now I don't see a point because if we are bullwall, then IT is chopped. Okay, after three four years, so there is no point in trying to pick that stock. 
इसके अलावा आई थिंक द पोर्टफोलियो ओवरऑल इज गुड देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम पर से इट इज जनरेटिंग अ गुड कैगर इट इज वेल बैलेंस इट जस्ट रिक्वायर्स अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ प्रूनिंग आई वुड एड समथिंग लाइक जोमैटो सो जोमैटो शी इज नॉट पिकड अप बिकॉज आई हैव पिकड अप अ लॉर्ड ऑफ जोमैटो लास्ट ईयर सो उस टाइम पे शी डिड नॉट पिक बट जोमैटो इज समथिंग दैट माइड बी लाइक अ टेन ईयर बेट सो आई वुड ट्राई टू ब्रिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ टू थ्री स्टॉक्स इन टू पोर्टफोलियो विच यू कैन होल्ड फॉर टेन ईयर्स एंड जहां पे बहुत अच्छा एक तरीके का रिटर्न बन सकता है सो जियो फाइनेंस जोमैटो वुड बी माई टू बेट्स देर सो दीज आर सम ऑफ दी स्टॉक्स दैट आई विल एंड फाइनल पॉइंट्स इन समरी कि यार देखो पैसे में इन्वेस्टिंग वर्क्स आउट रियली वेल ऐसा नहीं कि आपको म्यूचुअल फंड के थ्रू ही जाना पड़ता है एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ इसमें तो जीरो कमीशन है राइट आई मीन यू आर डायरेक्टली बाइंग कोई इशू नहीं है उसमें नंबर टू पैसे में इन्वेस्टिंग इज वेरी वेरी पावरफुल डेफिनेटली टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ इट इफ यू हैव द मनी विच यू कैन नॉट विच यू डोंट नीड फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स इट्स अ गुड फेज ऑफ द मार्केट आई वुड से गेट टू दैट यू स्टेज थर्ड एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली लर्न वेन टू कट इन्वेस्टमेंट्स दैट्स ऑल्सो इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट सिर्फ करते ही चले जाओगे एस आई पी पे एस आई पी एस आई पी पे एस आई पी इट डज नॉट हेल्प सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेन टू सेल इज इक्वली डिफिकल्ट इनफैक्ट आई वुड से इवन मोर डिफिकल्ट डेवलप एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग इफ यू फील दैन बाई जॉइनिंग माई मेंबर कम्युनिटी इट विल हेल्प आउट डेफिनेटली जॉइन इट लर्न दिस आई टीच ऑल ऑफ दीज पॉइंट्स फंडामेंटली सो डेफिनेटली गिव इट अ गो आई होप दैट यू इंजॉय दिस ब्रीफ कॉन्वर्जेशन इफ यू डिड डू प्रेस अ लाइक बटन एंड आई विल सी यू सून